Hello and welcome to the HKN sponsored video on solving sequential circuits. Today we're going to look at a Mealy sequential circuit. Now just as a brief reminder, a Mealy sequential circuit, both the inputs and the outputs are tied to the paths. Uh, this is in contrast to a more sequential circuit where the outputs are tied to the states and the inputs only are tied to the paths. So today we're going to be looking at this problem that we see in front of us. We have this sequence detector where if we look at this definition we're going to output a 1 when we read two zeros or when we read two ones. Now this is in any order. So if we look at this example down here, if we begin we get an input of a 1, our output will still be 0. If we get an input of a 0, our output will still be 0. Now we get this second zero. We now have read two zeros. Our output will be one. If we read a one next, we now have two ones that have been read. Our output is again one. We get our first new one. Our output is zero. We get our second one. Our output is now one. We get our first zero. Our output is zero. We get our first one, our output is zero, and then we get our second zero, our output is one. So this is the basic structure that we're going to model the circuit with. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to notice that we already have some information um, in our diagram. We know that this S0 will be a starting state for us, and we know that the state where we have a single input of a 1 will be S1, and the state where we have a single input of a 0 will be S2. Now, if we look at the meaning between in all these states, sometimes it's useful to define these meanings ahead of time. So for S0, we'll define it as a begin state. For S1, we'll define it as a received state one state, and for S2, we'll define it as a received zero state. We'll wait to define S3 for a little bit. So secondly, if we look at our column for next states, we automatically are given two important, we, we already completely specified for state zero. So if we get an input of a 1, we know that our output is going to be 0. So we can say that our next state, when we get an input of a 1 and we're in S0, will be S1. Secondly, we know that if we get a 0, our next state will be S2. We also know the outputs, where if we're going to S2 from S0, our output will be 0. And if we're going from S1 or from S0 to S1, our output will also be zero. Moving on, we can define what happens when we're in state one. So if we're in a state one, we know that we've received a single one. So we can start with what we'll do if we receive another one. If we receive another one, it makes sense, going by this example, that we would reset and go back to state zero. But this time, will output a 1 this time. This means we've received two 1s, and we're now in a state where we haven't received any pair so far, or any new single bits of a pair. So we'll change if we get an input of a 1 at S1 to S0 again, and our output, in this case, will be a 1. So, moving on, if we get a 0, this is where we have to define our S3. So if we received a 1 and received a 0, we haven't received any pairs yet, but we can't go to any of the other states. So we can define a new state, S3. And we can define this as a meaning of received 1 and 
0. And because we haven't received 2 of any of those, our output will still be 0. Now, if we go to the next state, S2, we can follow the same kind of pattern. So for S2, we've, re we've received a single 0. So if we receive another 0, we'll again return to S0 and output a 1. If we received a 1, we go to that same S3 state where we've received only a single 1 and a single 0. Our output, again, will be 0. Now finally, we can define what happens in this S3 state. So while we're in S3, if we receive a 0, we'll actually go to S1. Now the reason for this is that when we receive a 0, we now have a pair of matching zeros. So our new state is that of only receiving one unpaired 1. So we can go back to S1. However, since we've received two of a single digit, either a 0 or 1, in this case a 0, we'll output a 0, or we'll output a 1. If we received a 1, our new state will be S2. This is because we still have an unpaired 0, but we've received two 1s. So our output will be a 1, because we have received a pair. And we'll go ahead and fill that in. And so here we have our completely specified Mealy sequential circuit. If we test this out with our input and our output, we should get the same result. Thank you for watching.